Hello, all my football friends out there. Welcome to another segment of the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel show. Sit back and enjoy this segment today. My friends, today's segment is going to be the 2021 college football season. And for me, it's going to be a very interesting one. I'm going to break this down into three parts. The first part is going to be, can the Alabama Crimson Tide repeat as national champions? Now, my friends, the last time Alabama did repeat for national champions was 2011 and the 2012 college football season, back to back. We all know just last year, Alabama put a whooping on the Buckeyes, 52 to 24. But my question is, can the Crimson Tide for the 2021 season repeat as national champions? Now, when you mention Alabama Crimson Tide football, first thing that comes to mind for me is none other than legendary coach Nick Saban. Nick Saban, I have the utmost respect, great coach, great recruiter, never count this man out. Although, without a doubt, Nick Saban is going to have a daunting task to try to replace splendid quarterback Mac Jones, Heisman Trophy winner Devonta Smith, and the splendid running back Najee Harris, which all three of these players I just mentioned took their show to the next level to the NFL. My friends, I don't care what coach you are talking about, and how great of a coach that would be. It is a very tough task to replace the players I just said. And when you mention an Alabama Crimson Tide football team, you have to remember the very talented, big offensive line, which they did lose a few offensive linemen to the NFL. So for me, you never count out Alabama and Nick Saban. Absolutely not. Bryce Young will get the starting nod for the 2021 season. A very good quarterback, to say the least, but a little inexperienced. So this is where I'm going to just come out with an answer right now. And my opinion is this. Obviously, when you are the defending champs from the 2020 season, you have to start Bama out as number one until they get the throw. Do I see Alabama repeating as national champions? No, I do not, my friends. Again, I don't care what coach it is. That is going to be a very tough situation for Bama to replace the offensive line, the receiver, the running back, and the splendid quarterback that Bama had last year with Mac Jones. Moving on. Section number two will be Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh career record as the Michigan Wolverines head coach. Coming in, 49 victories, 22 losses. We all know Jimmy Harbaugh come on the scene in the 2015 season. And it started off pretty good. It, it, it truly did. I believe he won 10 games his first year. So for a coach to come in, brand new coach in 2015 and chalk up 10 W's, Without a doubt, he caught the eyes of a lot of college football, to say the least. But, Jim Harbaugh career record versus the Buckeyes, 0-5. And his career record in bowl games, a very disappointing one win and four losses. My friends, I'm just going to put it on the line for all you Michigan fans that might be checking out my video. And I hope you do. And by the way, please subscribe. It's free to do so. Jim Harbaugh cannot go through another season of losing to the Buckeyes, losing a bowl game, and just barely having an adequate season. Now, I'm going to give Jimmy Harbaugh the benefit of the doubt. 2020 was a goofy-ass year for every college football team, to say the least, okay? Some teams only played six games. Some teams played eight. It was just a crazy season. I don't have to go into that. For me, I'm going to give them a pass, okay? Last season, Harbaugh won two and lost four. 
Okay, definitely not the way that Michigan Wolverines wanted that football program to go in 2020, to say the least. So I'm going to give him a pass. Now, if again, if he has a subpar season, and I'm talking maybe a win or two above 500 and losing to the Buckeyes in the big house, which I do see happening, how can this man keep his job as a Wolverines head coach? I don't see it, to be very honest. There's a lot of good head coaches out there, my friends. The head coach for Iowa State, Lincoln Riley, they could be clawing to want to get the head coaching job for the Michigan Wolverines, which we'll see. And my final segment to this video is, will Ryan Day finally win the national championship as the Buckeyes head coach? Now, my friends, 2019 was Ryan Day's first official season. Splendid. 13 wins and only one loss. And he was tapping on the door 2019. We all know that very disappointing, heartbreaking loss to the Clemson Tigers in the bowl game, 29-23. to Just last season, Buckeyes finishing 7-1. Only loss was in a national championship game to none other than the Alabama Crimson Tide. Ryan Day was knocking on the door there. 2021, will the Buckeyes and Ryan Day knock the door in? We shall see. Do I see the Buckeyes having a splendid year? Why not? We're loaded with the receivers, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, just to name a couple. We are loaded with the running back position, Master T coming back, true freshman Henderson, it's going to be an interesting season, my friends. Let's not forget true freshman prior. And all the veterans and a few five-star freshmen on defense. The only question mark, and I was very honest, as the 2021 season will kick off, will be our starting quarterback. C.J. Stroud or Kyle McCord, both are very, very talented young quarterbacks. Can I see the Buckeyes getting it done with the young quarterback? Why not? Why not? When you mention Ryan Day, you mention a fierce competitor. You mention a player's coach, and he has always had a great relationship with his quarterback. So, to say the least, if C.J. Stroud can definitely play above his talent, which I do see him doing that, or Cal McCord if it comes down to this young five-star quarterback from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I do not see why the Buckeyes cannot make it to the national championship again in 2021. And only this time, Ryan Day knocking down the door. My friends, I hope everybody enjoyed this segment today of the 2021 college football season. If you are new to my channel today, please by all means click on the subscribe button. It's free to do so. If you like this video, which I hope you do, please click on the like button. And like always, please comment down below. I want to read your comments and your opinions. Like always, peace out. God bless. Have a good night, everybody.